Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to this intuitive energy update. My name is Lisa Lyle. This is my channel here on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can find me on social media at Facebook for now at Wisdom of the Heart, Instagram, Lisa Lyle, and me, we, Lisa Lyle. You can also check out my website, which will be much more um, active in the coming months, and that is simply lisalyle.com. Um, so seems like it's been forever since I connected with you and there is so much going on not only for myself personally for the collective and so I'm really happy to be back and doing what I love doing my thing and sharing with you so this particular uh, message I'm being told is to carry us through the remainder of October. So it's now October the 19th. So we have about 11 days, 12 days left of this month. So I'm just going to speak about, and it's 11-11, how perfect. How perfect. Um, I'm just going to speak about some of the things that are going on, some of the things you might be feeling. I'm going to work with some cards to sort of guide um, but guide the messages that are meant to come through. So we're almost at the end. We're in the last quarter of 2020, which has been an incredibly challenging year um, for all of us. And I'm feeling strongly that the challenges aren't going to dissipate as the year um, comes to completion. In fact, we may see a heightened of some of the really divisive and fiery energies and and a part of this is because we have um, Mars retrograde in Aries and so this is bringing a lot of stuff to the surface one of the beautiful uh, energies that's supporting us right now and I know there may be some who disagree is Mercury retrograde and Mercury is currently retrograde in the sign of Scorpio and it will be moving backwards into Libra and before it begins its forward motion again. So I really encourage you for the coming few weeks um, because I believe Mercury goes direct November 3rd. I really encourage you to use this time to go deeper within. Much of 20, much of 2020 for many people has been this divisive energy outside of self. So um, looking outside of self, projecting outside of self. And this final Mercury retrograde of 2020 is really asking us to go deeper within. And with the journey, the retrograde journey beginning in that deep, dark, watery sign of Scorpio, what it feels like is for many people, there is going to be uh, a real depth of emotion that's coming up. And perhaps many of you are going to be coming face-to-face uh, -face with your own shadow self, the aspects of yourself which you have denied. And remember, there cannot be expanded light when we are not willing to deep dive into the shadow. And this is what actually makes um, a phenomenal light worker is the ability, their ability, to traverse their own shadow, to uh, move through it, um, see it for what it is, and then release it and heal it. So this is an opportunity for all of us to really get in and do that shadow work. It is also an opportunity for all of us to really um, focus more, um, focus more, in an action-oriented and disciplined way on self-care, on the way that we take care of our physical body, which really incorporates mind, body, and spirit. The first card out for us is this beauty. The lighting's not great here. I'm getting used to a new space, so we will play around with locations here to um, connect. This is a number 23. So first and foremost, I see that as a five. So change. What is it that you are being asked to change at this time? What is it are, that you are being asked to leave behind? 
because this is really saying what I'm feeling with this card is that you are being called home to your power center, which is your personal space, your heart center. And the more that you can focus on your heart, your physical body, the more empowered you will feel, the more ability you will have to shine your own light, the more ability you will have to be able to be um, one who holds space, peaceful space for the collective, I'm going to say uprising, um, and it truly is. It is, we are um, on this planet in the midst, right in the throes of a spiritual battle. And the the um, the energy of um, the next world war, if you believe it, um, uh, is a spiritual one. And we are the um, the foot soldiers, if you will. We are the ones who are called to do our inner work. We are the ones who are called to clear um, the density from our own experience. And this is truly for. Um, I would say 95% of us, a karmic life time, a karmic life cycle. And so we came here to heal. We came here to remember that we are source in body. We came here to remember that we are divine and we were born to shine. This card really speaks about healing and I'm feeling the strong presence of Archangel uh, Raphael as well as Archangel Michael and Metatron really close by asking us to come home inside, home to you. How things are going to shift for you is going to be completely dependent on your willingness to do the work that you are being asked to do. And there is always work. So these two cards. Okay. And these two cards, it's funny, and this bottom one wants to come too. Ah! <laughs> okay. I see why here. So the next two cards that came out are these very similar energy and they are of the same vibration they're one energies this is an opportunity for a new beginning some of you might wonder how i figure out this is a number one i just add the three plus the seven and this is truly one this is a new beginning it is a new opportunity from each of us in this peaceful home space within to really create magnificent magnificent streams of light to really create um our world anew it's like this card is saying celebrate and i'm actually seeing like um an energy in here like almost like the goddess in the moon something like that it's very uh interesting that i'm seeing this right now um but i do see a face in here and it's like what i'm hearing is the world is your oyster and the cosmos supports you in really revealing the pearl within, the pearl of wisdom, um, the jewel that you are. And this too really feels like from this really centered, grounded space, you are asked to create. What is it that you would like to create? And this isn't about, um, we are no longer, we're going through this separation of worlds. You know, we've often talked about um, the 3D to 5D split. It is actually about us. It really has um, very little to do with anything outside of ourselves. The 3D to 5D split is our ability to um, separate ourselves from our ego, if you will, so that we are within that space of oneness with all things, with nature, with um, with our fellow um, brothers and sisters, our fellow human beings, our human family. And what is going to support us in um, really navigating this um, split or navigating this transition that we're all in is our, is our truth. And my truth or truth as I understand it may not be truth as you understand it. And this is absolutely okay. It is about honoring each other's truth. And 2020 has really brought to the surface um, the pain body. 
Um, most of the planet is living within the pain, the collective pain body of humanity. And it's time to restore integrity to our experience. And it's time to, uh, you know, what I've witnessed a lot in 2020 is all this like opposing energy. And if you don't um, have to hold the same op opinions or beliefs as me, it's very likely that I may be attacked or, you know, we may attack someone else. I, this is not, this is not how we ascend. This is not how we um, move up into our five, uh, five D or fifth dimensional uh, soul self. It is about, we must be willing to listen. We must be willing to speak with compassion. United we stand and united we rise. Divided, well, you know, I, I, I don't even want to really contemplate that because I am really supporting the rising of humanity one soul at a time and that means we must do our work this is a four the same as the year 2020 this is about creating foundations and what we are seeing fall are foundations it, it's the patriarchal energy which has been permeating and really uh, running um, rampant on this planet for a couple thousand years and it's like a tyranny really and we are we agreed to come here at this time so that we could we would do our part and we would support the collective rise in order to rise though the old structures must, must fall and we are seeing a lot of this i do believe that this card is called ohm and so working with sound um you know chant even if it's not ohm just like inhaling and <sighs> letting your breath fall out and inhaling and just allowing any sound that wants to escape to just move out of you move through you so the next few weeks are really going to be about your ability to focus on yourself turn off the news log out of the computer and sit with your emotions that are coming up sit with the discomfort that may be coming up because there have been a lot of changes this year and we are in the midst of the most beautiful <clears throat> time of year and we're really coming up to you know some really powerful days 11 11 12 12 12 21 these are going to be key dates um, they're key dates every year this year it's really going to be about each of us and our ability to um, our ability to remain within our heart center to remain peaceful within our heart center uh, one offering that I've been guided so I'm gonna just here before I pull any more cards I want to speak about this blue moon so we are having a blue moon on um, October 31st on Halloween so a blue moon is two full moons within a calendar month so the last uh, blue moon we had was March 31st 2018 okay so between uh, our coming blue moon and the one in March of 2018 has been two years, seven months, or 31 days, uh, 30, 31 months. And what I'm feeling with that 31 months again, this one, there's been so much instability since 2018. And then we have this blue moon on Halloween. You know, the veil is very thin. We are being supported incredibly by our ancestors and they want us to tune in. They want us to tune into this energy of four. What do your foundations look like? What are your foundations built on? Because what we are really asked to build upon is truth, integrity, and unconditional love. And it's up to each of us to do that. Also important to note, we will not have another blue moon until August 31st, 2023. And that is a total of 34 months 
from now, two years and 10 months. And what this is saying is that our focus between, what it's saying to me is our focus between this coming blue moon and the one in 2023 is going to be our physical body because we are undergoing incredible changes um, on a cellular level. Our DNA is being um, elevated. <clears throat> our hearts, <coughs> our hearts are being asked to open. And one thing I have noticed is that since around the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2019, personally, it's almost like I shut down through the heart. So some of you may be feeling this too. And I have experienced a lot of physical pain within my body, which is now moving out of my body. And it's really amazing um, the connection that I made to that and realized that you know, uh, personally, I had been sitting within trauma. My son had been sitting within trauma since that time, and we have now moved beyond. And this is an opportunity for all of us. So for many of you who are connecting with these messages, I feel like between this uh, blue moon at the end of October and the one in August of 2023, there is an opportunity for you to redefine, re yeah, redefine how you relate to your physical body, how you nurture your body. Um, and that's body, mind, and spirit. You know, your, your uh, devotional practices like meditation, um, perhaps, um, you know, some sort of body movement, uh, how you nourish yourself with the foods that you eat. And there is, you know, it's really important if you haven't made the connection yet, uh, with how you feel with the food you're eating. Remember, in order to support our light bodies coming online and to be able to stay online, we must be eating a high uh, vibration. We must be eating high vibration foods, lots of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, pure water, and really moving away from um, processed, um, packaged, or dead foods, if you will, because it, when we ingest, we're, what we ingest becomes our energy body. So you, if you want to elevate your energy, be mindful of what you're putting into your body. So with that being said, I have been guided to offer blue moon blessings, and they are messages just for you to carry you from this, to give you guidance and, and sort of let you know what your learning curve is from this coming blue moon to the next blue moon. And it's just, um, you know, it's, it's, I received strong guidance to offer these and, um, they really initially said to support you through the end of the year. And as I sat with it, it really, really felt like this is sort of like what's going to be a snapshot of what you are going to be asked to do, called to do um, for yourself in the coming months, weeks, and years, okay? So those messages are going to be $44 for those of you who are interested, and they're really intended to support, um, they're really intended to bring guidance from your eternal soul, your higher self. So blue moon blessing messages just for you. Um, you can check out my Facebook page. Uh, you can, to, um, to send exchange. Uh, I don't think I can post links down below, but I can post the email uh, or the PayPal address where you can send your exchange for that. So let's see some really practical, I'm looking for some practical guidance for us in order to maintain our peace in the coming weeks and uh, liberation. And they're saying stop right there. And this is a number 25. So seven again. So back to the physical body. Back to the physical body. And this is where the liberation happens. Through the physical body. We will not be liberated from our mind. And what just came in are the words of um, Bob Marley sign. Free yourself from mental slavery. 
none but ourselves can free our mind. Okay, so liberation comes from inside and we are liberated through our heart center. We are liberated through um, the honoring of the wisdom of our heart. We are liberated through um, getting out of the head and into the heart. Peace, freedom is within you. Breaking free from negative attachments. And many of the negative attachments these days are um, of from the mental body, are from the mind. So I'm guided to work with um, my original deck, Everyday Wisdom here, random. I have not really worked at this, looked at this deck for quite some time and it jumped out at me off of the shelf today and really wanted to be a part of these um, messages. That's too many that flipped there. If it was just one, I would have taken it. So let's see some practical everyday wisdom for us right now for the remainder of October. I will be putting online again this month <laughs> um, for November uh, by the sun sign um, messages. So check, I'll, I'll let you know via social media. Again, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little notification bell and you will be notified as soon as something new is posted on YouTube. So from Everyday Wisdom, we get the numbers card, number 41. So it's that five again. It goes right back to that very first card that we had. And of course, it's 777 on here. This is truly we are in a spiritual battle, okay? The battle is won through our physical vessel and honoring our sensitivity and the fact that we are spiritual in nature. We are eternal in nature. This is about change. What are you doing to be a part of the change? And really, it's about breaking free from everything, that liberation card, breaking free from everything that we have known. And we are not, if we continue to turn on the TV and plug into um, social media, which has become really a joke these days, censorship is at an all-time high. And that should really be concerning for the vast majority of us. Because uh, if there was nothing to hide, why do we need to censor people and call them names such as conspiracy theorists, okay? Truth is hidden in plain sight, always. And it's really high time that each of us closed our eyes so that we could see with our inner vision, okay? Because we have been um, programmed by televised lies for much of our life, particularly for any of you who may be around my vintage. We are really kind of first generation who all had TVs in their homes, right? Like our parents didn't, my parents didn't. Um, and the message on this card says, your guides and angels are bringing you many number messages. Pay attention. The study of numerology will provide you with further insight at this time. And just ask your guides. You don't necessarily have to study. You can simply ask uh, if you're seeing like 1111. I know I made note of that when I started. And it's like a lot of people say make a wish. For me, it's like the pillars, the twin, the twin soul pillars of light. It's also about a gateway, being that pillar of light, standing on your own two feet, being the pillar of light and moving through. There are tremendous opportunities available to all of us right now if we are willing to move through our wounds. And so many, I, I prayers up for humanity every day because so many are still stuck within the wound. And the wound, um, I want to say the wound is a lie, and yet it's not really a lie, is it? Because it's, it's there, it exists. The wound can no longer be denied, okay? So it's really high time that we took a look at ourselves and um, what we have been trying to hide from, deny what we have not wanted to face. Um, the truth can be a jagged little pill to swallow 
and yet um, it's necessary. It's necessary in order to um, continue to rise. And so we're just going to see an animal messenger and then I'm going to pull a little, with the animal, I'm going to pull a little crystal out of my box here. I have a little box of crystals and I was guided to bring them today. Uh, rose quartz is a really amazing stone to animals. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm just going to reach in. Rose quartz is a really um, wonderful stone and I find it very comforting these days for um, myself and clients. And then look at this, we have petrified wood. And so what I'm hearing with this right away, petrified wood is incredibly grounding. Petrified wood is ancient, millions, billions of years old, where it crystallizes. Get to nature. Nature supports your ascension. As do these guides for the coming days, bear, and I'm feeling strong, protective, again, earth energy, getting grounded, knowing that you are safe, knowing that it is safe for you to um, heal. <laughs> it's safe for you to go deeper within you. And it's funny because bears like honey, and then the bee came out. And I also feel part of this message is, is if you're not having fun, what is the point? What is the point of life here and now if you do not enjoy it? So I feel like these two are saying, get grounded and ex get grounded and do what you can to extract the sweetness out of life, to really experience more joy. Because that is what our soul journey is about. It is about joy. It is about um security in the knowing that we are loved eternally and we are guided and protected. I'm just going to read. Um, <clears throat> so Bears says here, waking from spiritual slumber, beginning anew. And so if you have been one who in 2020 has been in very conflicted, very angry, it's really time to wake up to who you really are and stop projecting your wounds, your pain body on others. Get back into your heart. Anger will not do at this stage of the game. Love, only love will do and it's up to you. Um, so when the bear energy is in balance, it speaks about inner strength and yearning to grow. Uh, when out of balance, it's it withdraws its uh, lethargy and heaviness. To get into balance, movement and exercise. And bears are very playful too. If you've ever seen a mama bear and her cubs, they're very, very playful, rambunctious. And B says, earnest, hardworking, democratic. Okay? Diplomatic is what I want to say neutral. Okay. It's really important. And this is why it's really important to go deeper into your heart, to hold this space of neutrality. When in balance, content, active, and vibrant. When out of balance, overworked and annoyed. And to bring into balance, a mini vacation. And I know travel is pretty limited these days, but maybe it's just a brisk walk down by the beach or out in the forest. Maybe the mini it's a mini staycation in your home where you just pamper yourself, right? It's like have a little spa day at home. I find recently I've been really like um, massaging my feet and, and, you know, taking the time because this, these are our, our feet take so much, you know, from our walking, they carry our weight and they're often neglected and yet they're so important. So I've really enjoyed in the last little while just massaging my feet and sort of supporting them in the way that they support me. So I feel like this is all for today, folks. I am going to get busy recording the By the Sun sign messages for the month of November. I trust you have enjoyed and felt supported through this reconnection. It has been my utmost joy and honor to share and connect with you. And I'm looking forward to bringing through some 
blue moon blessings just for you so if you're interested in that have a look in the description down below just copy the link and you can send your exchange that way or you can reach out to me on social media send me a message here on YouTube or um, connect with me through my website so until then everyone have a blessed remainder of October and know that you never walk alone your ancestors and angels and guides walk with you love you unconditionally and encourage you each and every day to come home to you I see you I feel you I love you thank you thank you thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.